The Chestertown Resolves Resolved that we acknowledge His Majesty George the Third, King of Great Britain, France, and Ireland, to be our rightful and lawful sovereign, to whom we owe and promise all dutiful allegiance and submission. Resolved that no duties or taxes can constitutionally be imposed on us, but by our own consent, given personally or by our representatives. Resolved that the Act of the British Parliament of the 7th of George the Third, Chapter 46, subjecting the colonies to the payment of a duty on tea for the purpose of raising a revenue in America is unconstitutional, oppressive, and calculated to enslave the Americans. Resolved, therefore, that whoever shall import or in any way aid or assist in importing, or introducing from any part of Great Britain, or any other place whatsoever into this town or country, any tea subject to the payment of a duty imposed by the aforesaid Act of Parliament, or whoever shall willfully and knowingly sell, buy, or consume, or in any way assist in the sale, purchase or consumption of any tea imported as aforesaid subject to a duty, he or they shall be stigmatized as enemies to the liberties of America. Resolved that we will not only steadily adhere to the foregoing resolves, but will endeavor to excite our worthy neighbors to a like patriotic conduct, and whoever amongst us shall refuse his concurrence, or after complying, shall desert the cause, and knowingly deviate from the true spirit and meaning of these our resolutions, we will mark him out as inimical to the liberties of America, an unworthy member of the community, and a person not deserving our notice or regard. Resolved that the foregoing resolves be printed, that our brethren in this and the other colonies may know our sentiments as they are therein contained. Signed by order of the committee, W. Wright, Clerk.